So it's time to candle the eggs that we got in the mail about two and a half weeks ago. They have about a week and a half left and we're going to take a look in them and see how they've changed since we put them in the incubator. This one looks pretty good. It's filling up the shell with growth. And if we look at it here, let's see if we can see something. There we go. You can see little baby duckling swimming around. Already got some good development by this age. So here's the next one. It's a tricky thing to catch with my phone camera, but here you can kind of see the vein development on this side. And more of the darker development on the other side. <clears throat> We're looking for movement in the shell. Here we can kind of see, we mark the air cells at the beginning. That way we can track how, oh, there's movement. We can track how much those air cells are growing and that helps us to control the humidity. We don't want the eggs to lose too much humidity and we don't want them to be too wet either or they'll have a hard time hatching. So this one has a dark spot here and on the other side there's no clear vein development there was on the first candle and what happens when the duckling fails to develop the veins are reabsorbed into that egg white um, so it kind of just leaves like a hazy blobby doesn't really move it doesn't move except for just the motion of turning the egg. But there's no heartbeat. There are no signs of life. So this one is what we would call a quitter. It's, it's something that does happen uh, with most hatches. There'll be some that develop to full term. And there'll be a few that, for whatever reason, do not. And that's more common with eggs that have had the rough ride through the male than the eggs that come from ducks locally or, or chickens or whatever bird um, locally and have not had that rough ride through the male. So that's a fairly normal occurrence. This one was one of the ones that came uh, with a saddled air cell and it is alive and well can see all those veins there looking nice and defined we've got heartbeat we got kicky feet looking really good there for some pitter patter of little duckling feet here in about 10 days and you can see that saddled air cell where it was marked when we first got it and where it is now it's still there and we'll hope for the best but we definitely have signs of life and this is why I go ahead and set the ones with a little bit of a saddle 
The only ones I don't set are the ones that are fully detached. The member, if the membrane's fully detached from the inside of the shell, then I don't set them. But I will hopefully get a duckling from this one. So that's what we're left with. Um, we had one of the dozen initially had a hairline crack and three of them were early quitters um, but we have eight that are going strong and um, we'll see how it goes the remaining week and a half.